Ah, new day feels so good. Oh, look, I went back in time with my bunny hood on and only three hearts. Great. So, this episode, I was looking in my strategy guide and I had a whole big path planned out about how we were going to do all this stuff, get all the heart pieces possible we could get at this point in time. And first, before I say this, let me slow down time. Uh... So, I had this huge big path planned out to make it as efficient and fast as possible and we can get so much stuff done and still get to the... No, wait, how did I play the Song of Time there? I'm trying to play the Song of Inverted Time. Uh... There we go, that's the inverted one. Alright. I always get those confused, yeah. So, you know, we could get into Snowhead and have everything ready, get in there, and we could get like 10 heart pieces in the video. And it would just be the best thing ever. But guess what? I decided against that because I said, that's too structured for a scope LP. We can't have that. We can't have efficiency. Who am I? Chuka Khan? Right now, we're not trying to get through this game as quickly as possible. What we're trying to do is we're trying to have fun, you know? So, um... We want to go to East Clocktown, so where I was going there. So, basically what I did off screen is I spent about... It took about an hour, maybe a little bit longer, hour 15 minutes... And I grinded rupees for the uh, bank, and I got it up to 48.50. So now we're within 200 or 150 rupees of getting it. So what I do is make sure you talk off, take off your bunny herder. This kid won't let you do the passcode. And it's two, five, three, four, one is the code. So basically, what my path consisted of is I would reset time, come over here, go inside here, and get the 100 rupee chest from inside here. That's right off to the left behind the skull too that I showed you guys. And that's the reason I only have three hearts right now is because every time I jump back into the water from this chest area over here, the skull tula would whack me. I mean, I dodged him a few times, but when you reset time, you have three hearts. So, so then I just use the bomb mass because when you reset time, you lose your bombs. So this is really the only way to constantly get this unless you want to go grind for bombs every single time. <laughs> Excuse me, feels like I got something in my nose. Anyway, and then see, I jump off here, and every once in a while, yeah, I see, he just whack me. Just depends on the angle that you jump off. So that's 100 rupees. And as you know, we can carry 200, so there you go. Once we do this, we'll be getting another heart piece for that. Now, you can do this at any point in the game, really, as long as you've got the blast mask. Bunny Hood makes it a lot more tolerable. And uh, you can do it right at the beginning of the game if you wanted to. It would just take longer because of, you know... Oh, shit, you're supposed to... Damn it. You're supposed to take off your bunny hood before you make those jumps. I'm sorry. I did the grinding for this like two days ago, so I don't actually remember. You know, I'm not as familiar with it. But yeah, you can get these hundred rupees ASAP as soon as you start the game. You don't have to have anything to do this. You can get this chest right now. So as soon as you start the game, um, like the first real cycle once you become Deku Link or Human Link, you can get these 100 rupees and just grind these over and over again because you can only hold 99 in your wallet. You know, it would just probably take twice as long. So now I maxed out at 200 rupees. So now what I would do is I would just head to West Clocktown and deposit them. And then I would restart the cycle and do it all over. Um, at 1,000, the only notable thing that happens is at 1,000 rupees, he gives you 5 rupees interest. And that's it. Just at 1,000. So that's the only real thing going on here. So, let's see what happens when we finally pass 2,000 rupees. Let's talk to him. What's this? You ate something? Yeah, I want to deposit rupees. Let me take a look at you. Oh, it's a bunny hood. Ah, oh, yes, Scope. If I remember you, the little guy who deposited 4850 rupees. Yeah, buddy. So, we're actually just going to deposit 150 here, and we'll keep the rest for anything we might need. So, let's do it. What? You're really going to give me that much? You're one of the rich little guy. All right, little guy. Now, I've got a total of 5,000 rupees from you. What's this? You've already saved up 5,000 rupees? Well, little guy, I can't take any more deposits. Sorry, but this is all I can give you. And we finally get our well-deserved piece of heart. We've collected three pieces. Huzzah. And now what you can do is, now that we have the 5,000 rupees, we don't really need them in the bank anymore. So you can just withdraw as many as you need. Um, I'm going to withdraw 150, because we're going to be go buying stuff. We're going to go use them to buy stuff, sorry. All right, and now we've got back to 4850. Cool. So, that's that. That's the uh, bank deposit. Now, if you want to wait till later in the game till you get a certain arrow, uh, you can actually make this a lot easier because there's an enemy you can kill with this arrow right outside of Clock Town. And when you there's like two of three of them, and when you kill them, they will drop 50 rupees. And you could just go deposit them 
and come back outside and they will have respawned. And uh, therefore, you will be able to um, just keep grinding off them. You won't even have to reset time, so that's actually a much more efficient and faster method. However, you have to wait till way later in the game, and you know the heart piece is valuable to you, just, you know, right away. So, um, what we're gonna do? This is actually the exit you're supposed to take towards the mountains right here. And as you can see, it's the snowy area. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And there's Dodongos here. So pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna go hole hunting. But first, you notice that this clef here with the skull kid next to it. Well, if you whip out your ocarina, um, can I? How close to this thing do I have to be? Can I target it? So, up, left, up, A, A, left, A, up. Up, left, up, A, A, left, A, up. And by doing that, the Skull Kid guy here will drop you some rupees. He'll drop anywhere in between 3 and 60 rupees. And there will be a new thing to do there every day. So there you go. That's always nice. Now, what is this? Oh, this is a slope. We can't do anything with that yet. So yeah, like I said, we're going to go hunting. That's where we actually need to go. That's going to lead to Snowhead, our second area. As you can imagine, it's the snowy area, so there you have it. But no, what we're actually going to do today is we're going to go hole hunting. So we're gonna, just going to go look for holes here in Termina Field. Bunch of Dodongos over here. These guys are crazy, but get used to fighting them because, you know, we're going to have to fight them. Uh, this leads to the Stone Tower area, if I remember correctly. Yeah. But we're not going to worry about that. So yeah, there are holes that we want to find all around Termina Field, and they can all pretty much help us certain way. Don't go in there yet. You do not want to do that. You're not ready for it. Trust me, you're just not. So there should be a hole somewhere up around here. Here we go. Stupid bomb chew guys following me. I think those guys are bomb chews. Aha! So anyway, in these, there's going to be four caves in Termina Field that have these gossip stones. You can catch bugs in your bottle if you want. doesn't really do much because there aren't Skulltulas in this game. But... Basically, there's going to be four caves, um, and each one of them is going to have a gossip stone that's larger than the other three. What you want to do is you want to turn into a form, other than Human Link. Um, it's either going to be Deku Link or one of your other two forms that are possible to get, which I'm not going to spoil. And you want to play the Sonata of Awakening in front of the big one. So let me double check what the Sonata of Awakening is, and it, it's like left up. You can play the Sonata of Awakening, or you can play any other colored song on your map. So any one of the bottom ones here, we've got Oath to Order or Sonata of Awakening. Up left, up left, A right, A. Okay, I thought so. Up left, up left, A right, A. So you can play any colored song with any form. Just make sure you do the same song with the same form for all four of the statues across Termina Field, because that will determine what color they change, and we want to get them all to the same color. There we go. So that one's green now because we're Deku Link and we played a song. So now we just gotta go find the other three and something amazing will happen. Mwah! Whoa, 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 whoa. <clears throat> whoa. So I was gonna actually record Pokemon Coliseum today because that's one of the only ones I haven't uploaded. Oh, there's another hole right here. This hole is not a um, gossip stone hole, but it's still important. Let's check it out. Oh, well, there's supposed to be a thing in here. Is he in here? I know you're in here, fucker. I know you're in here. Oh, wait a second. You know what? He might... No. You know what? He might just be in here. Okay, never mind. I know what you have to do to activate that, actually. You have to go to the observatory and watch the Deku guy fly in there. Oh, and here's that guy looking for rupees. Let's see if we can knock him down. No. Do not do that, please. There we go. See if we can knock him down. Hey, I see your shadow, buddy, on that tree. And, oh, he falls right on his ass. But we also knocked the rupees down. Oh, no, I made him hurt his foot. Are you okay, buddy? Hey, I stole that rupee from a crow. Don't go stealing it, man. Oh, okay, he stole it from the crow that actually steals stuff from you. That's interesting. Uh, poor guy. Oh, well, screw him. So let's keep looking for holes. Like I said, I was looking for a... Uh, I was going to just record some Pokemon Coliseum because... Oh, look, it's a treasure chest. This is going to have rupees in it, isn't it? You got red rupee? Yeah. Because that's, you know, I have Pokemon Coliseum uploaded. I don't, I still have two of these episodes I need to upload the... Oh, and there's a hole right here. Yay. This is actually where you want to go. There's a chest in here with stuff. And Deku, guys. It's just more rupees. So, you know, if you want to grind for rupees this way, that's another good way to do it. 
But like I said, I still haven't uploaded the minigame episodes, but the reason I couldn't record more Pokemon Coliseum is because I asked you guys a question in that video and I needed it to be answered before I could record more about the Master Ball thing, you know? So there's that. It's hard to remember where all these holes are. Okay, now there's a hole here, and it's by the butterflies, so look for the butterflies and just run straight into it. And this hole is going to be annoying because what we've got in here is we've got a pea hat. And pea hats are scary because... They have got blades of death. So try to target him. Ugh. And stay on the inside of him. And just attack him. This is going to be a hard battle to do. I recommend not doing it until you have a lot of hearts. Because this guy does a heart of damage, as you can see. And he takes a lot of hits. So don't go for a jump attack. He'll cut your head off. So just try to get a good position on him and keep cutting him. He takes like around 12 hits to kill, I think. Maybe more. But it's well worth it. So these guys are hard, and this is why they don't appear in the overworld, because they're super fucking annoying to kill. And they'll... Especially in this little enclosed area, it's just, like, really a dick move. But the good thing is, once you kill him, you are heavily rewarded with... Oh, man, I didn't even open my Dr. Pepper yet. What was I thinking? A piece of heart! That's right. And that's our fourth heart piece. We get a new heart container. That's heart number eight. Heart number Ocho, as they say. So that's good. That's one of the heart pieces we could have gotten earlier, but I decided to wait until now until we had seven hearts because, you know, I get clumsy sometimes. All right, so this is where that crow hangs out that tries to steal your shit, so watch out for him. He will fuck you. There he is right there. You saw his ass? I saw his ass. He will not hesitate to screw you over, so do be careful. He's a bastard. He's ugly too, man. He is like so ugly. You never really get a really good look at him unless you're like trying to look at him, but. Right, so let's get up here, see if we can get a better vantage point. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, now let's hop down. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna continue looking for holes. I do kinda wanna do that. The way to get the one hole activated that I was in and I was looking for something I couldn't find it, you have to actually do the. Oh, there's a treasure chest down there. You can't get that because you can't open it while we're underwater. There will be ways to open that later, though. Oh, fucking levers here? Are you kidding me? What is this thing in the ground? Oh, it's a starfish. All right. Now, what's under this, I imagine? Let's get out our bomb mask, because I probably don't have any bombs. It's a hole! But yeah, we need to actually do the moon's tier thing to get that guy activated. Oh, what have we got here? Oh, nothing we can actually do here, believe it or not. So this hole is useless to us right now. Uh. Unfortunately... I thought it might have been one of the holes I needed. Silly me. And now we come full circle to the snowhead area. There is a hole here though we need to check out. I've just gotta find it. Cause I don't know where it is. Oh wait, is that it right there? Son of a bitch, that is it. God damn it. What do you know, Scotty? And like I said, get used to fighting Dodongos because these Dodongos are way bigger than they were in Ocarina of Time and much scarier. These guys take 12 hits with the Kokiri Sword to kill. And now you're fighting two of them in a tiny ass cave. And uh, every time you hit them, they swing around. And then when you're in the vicinity of one, you're in the vicinity of the other. Uh, see? And they do a whole heart of damage too, just like. Just like the uh, P hat guys. I tried to back. Oh, damn it. I tried to backflip out of the way. Ah! Oh! Right, let's get this guy who's over here not doing much. Try to get a jump attack off if you can. Get out of there. Oh my god, he's kicking my ass. Alright, so maybe you, you might want to just D lock on when you hit them. So you can, you know, have enough momentum to get out of the way. I hear them charging up their fire, but I don't know where they're doing it from. Okay, I wasn't sure if he hit me from there or not. Ugh, just whatever you do, don't leave the area, because then you're screwed. So yeah, maybe just the running around, going crazy method is probably the best way to do it. Now make sure you watch out for when you kill these guys, because they're going to drop something very useful. These guys are hard though, yeah. If, you're, if there's anywhere you're going to die, it's probably going to be either in here or in the P-Hat room. 
see if you're smart enough and you keep getting in front of him, he'll just keep trying to blow in the same way. Now these guys, when they die, they will actually drop huge rupees, purple rupees, which are worth 200 rupees. So you can max out just by coming here and killing these guys. So that's another way you can grind for rupees. Yeah, I probably should have just kept my rupees deposited since I don't even need them now. Once you're down to one of these guys, it's not so bad, but oh, as you can see, I still took a hit there. And I just ran right into his flame like a dumbass. These guys are hard. These guys will kill you if you're not careful. Oh, yeah, it looks like I killed them. Now, watch out when they die because they explode, so... There you go! By doing this monumentous task, we also get rewarded with, as you can probably imagine, a piece of heart. And another purple rupee. Sure, why not? They disappear after a while, so make sure you pick those up. But, yeah. Some crazy holes in this place, right? Digging them holes, holes, holes. And get a view of Link's skirt. Nice. And we get another piece of heart. Thank God, because I was low on life there. That is so awesome, that. Hearts refill your... Shit. Shit. Heaven saving kids. Alright, so we've done that. That's pretty much all the holes I wanted to do, except there are still three holes with the gossip stones that I wanted to find. That's bullshit, man, because I don't know what it is shit. Oh, there's also one more thing I want to do out here, but that doesn't happen until nighttime. Anyway, you may ask, what's stopping me from going to Snowhead before I go to Woodfall and doing this area first? Well, good question. It's actually right up here. If you come try and check it out, there's a fucking ice blockade, but there's a stalactite above them. So... If you bust out your bow and arrow, which you can only get from the Woodfall Temple, uh, I guess you gotta shoot it a few times. It will fall and break the ice blockade, and you can now go to Snowhead. Hell yeah! So that's what you do. I guess you could technically uh, get the bow and arrow from Woodfall Temple and then leave and come back here. And believe it or not, that's actually one of the techniques in the speedrun of this game, which is known as the Six Day Cycle. Basically, what that consists of, the six-day cycle, what it means is your first three-day cycle is a deck who's always going to be the same. So you have to do that, and then your first cycle is Link, beating the entire game. Beating all four temples and uh, final area all in one go. All in one fell swoop. There's also a uh, patch here for magic beans. You can check that out later. Something we didn't check out is this whole upper area. We kind of just checked out the bottom area, so that's probably where a lot of holes are that we missed. Just die. Just die, because there are a lot of holes up here. Case in point! I actually don't know what's in this one. Hopefully it's another Gossip Stone. Yes, it is! And as you can see, the one we turned green earlier will stay green, even in the other case. So that's good. So now we know, because it's my super short show. And we'll probably just end off the episode once we find the rest of these Gossip Stones and see what they do, because then we're pretty much done with the holes. Then all we really need to do is we can just uh, wait for the thing to happen at, like, midnight, and then go to Snowhead. Um, yeah, let's play Sonata of Awakening. Do I remember it? Yeah, I did remember it. Sweet. Got it on the second try there. I'm really bad with memorizing songs, especially from Majora's Mask. Like, Ocarina of Time, I could probably remember them all, but even, like, every once in a while, I just forget, like, which one's Epona song, and... I don't know. It's just... I'm bad with it. I don't know. It's crazy. Alright, so that's two of the stones. Let's go find the others. There's also bugs in here. Like I said, you don't need bugs for very much in this game. They're useful for a few select things, but not very much. Not a lot. And in Majora's Mask, they did take out the thing where you can re replicate bugs, so you cannot do that in this game anymore, I don't think. Alright, there's probably a hole under this thing. There always is, right? Take out your handy blast mask. Aha! But I doubt there will be another Gossip Stone one under here. Oh no, this is one. Alright, sweet. Better bust out our ocarina then. Nope, you were in the right place. You were in the right place! Ah, because I'm wearing it? Fine. Whatever. Alright, let's do this shit. There we go. I'm getting good. I'm getting good. I'm actually excited to start Snowhead though, because Snowhead is like one of the coolest areas. I don't know why. It's not that bad too. But I do remember, okay, so we want to do the Moon's Tier thing. I'll probably do that, like, in between video. No, I'll probably do it on screen, actually, in the next video, because there's, like, a certain thing in it that needs to happen for us to do that thing in the one hole. So, I'll probably do that on screen. Plus, before, when you restart a cycle to go to a new area, like a new temple place, you want to do the whole Moon's Tier D quest again, but you want to do it with the, uh, 
with the new one in tow. Like, you know how there's the one at the swamp, the swamp title deed that the guy gets. Is there a hole over here? That the swamp guy gives us? You want to do that, too, because that's going to be useful in the next area. The land title deed isn't going to do shit for you. So, you know, there's that. Alright, how many more holes do we need? We only need the one. And I really don't know where that last hole is. I imagine it's up here somewhere. This, I didn't explore this area too well. Okay, that's that fountain. That's cool. I like that fountain there. I don't know why that's there, but it's pretty cool. The hole's probably somewhere up here. Yeah, that guy's respawning. Fuck him. ba ba da ba 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 da ba so this is the exit to Woodfall that we took. Is there like a hole like right over here? No. I thought there would be. For some reason I slightly remember that. I don't know why. I love this music. I could fap to it. Fap 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 Oh wait, here's a hole right here. Did I not check this one out? This might be it. We might have something big here. Aha! I knew it. There is a skull tool right here that is going to, yes, cut in front and detonate. Goodbye. Man, I just got trolled there. What is this? There's also a skull wall tool right there. You may notice in that spider web, but he doesn't do us no good. What? I did it. Oh, no, I'm doing it wrong. There we go. Okay, that was weird. I don't know why that wasn't working. Anyways, this should do it. This should do the trick right here. We've awakened all four gossip stones. Whoa, dude. They're all green, man. And you get a piece of heart. That's right. Piece of heart. We are just racking them up. Anyways, uh, we're going to continue and head into the Snowhead area in the next episode of Majora's Mask. I will see you guys then.